Hello and welcome to Model Kit Stuff and today I've got um, a how-to video on doing rigging. Now as anyone that follows my channel knows I've been building this which is a Wingnut Wings Gotha UWD. It has lots of rigging on it and um, what I'm going to do today is show you how I go about rigging. Now um, let's deal with the elephant in the room which is Easy Line. Oh. It's a great little product for uh, rigging ships and telegraph uh, poles on railways and that sort of stuff. I find it less helpful, in fact, more difficult than traditional rigging when you're rigging an aircraft um, because it's difficult to terminate it. Whereas if you do the traditional rigging using fishing wire, um, it's a lot easier. It's a lot easier because you've got clear uh, termination points and it's easier to put it under tension. Um, so uh, you've not got anything pulling back against your... your um, uh, CA bond or anything like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what I feel is the best way of rigging um, aircraft 148 scale and above uh, and that is using um, a combination of um, twisted wire eyes. I've got some in here. Sure. Now you can make these yourselves or you can save yourself a load and load of time and do what I do which is I buy them. Um, so these particular ones uh, are from uh, a little one-man band, I think, called Bob's Buckles. Um, there you go, Bob's Buckles. And they come in these little packs. Um, and then I buy either brass or silver tubes. You can get them in different lengths, again, from uh, Bob's Buckles. Um, and he gives you all the sizes on there. But go on the website. He does now do... Um, eyes for um easy line um if you if you want but again it's just much more difficult than using fishing wire. right i'm gonna show you um try and show you a bit more close up how i'm gonna do this rigging um using fishing wire so we've installed our eye bolts just a reminder these come from bob's buckles and uh, the next thing we want to do is to get some cake uh line on there now the line is a red color and we want it black we will color it in with a sharpie pen later but right now we don't need to do that um, and i'll explain why in a minute what we're going to do is we're going to find my scissors um, so we're going to cut um, a length that we know is much longer than we need so we've got plenty of uh, wriggle room so I need that, I put in that, and we'll trim that. Okay, so first thing we need to do is just thread the eye bolt with our uh, fishing cable. So um, this shouldn't be too big a task. And once you've got it passed through, just make sure you uh, get a good length all the way through so it doesn't fall back through. Uh, the fishing line that I'm using here is 0 0.12 millimeter. So you need to make sure that your eye is bigger than that. Um, and so the next thing we want to do is actually put one of our little brass tubes on. So this is the uh, next um, step putting the little brass tube on. Uh, While well, I'm using brass, you can get silver ones as well, or whatever colour you want. Some people paint them, I don't. Uh, getting this on is not too bad. The, the trick is to hold your fishing wire as close to the end as possible. There you go, that's that's in. And it's always worth taking a very fine drill bit and running through uh, just to make sure there's no burrs uh, making it difficult because we now have to get a second line through and that is the more difficult bit. So again, same process, holding the line as close to the end as possible. Well, I made that look easy, but... <laughs> 
it quite often isn't that easy I can assure you we'll just pull that through a little bit and then what we want to do is pull the other line the line that we put through first so that we uh, get that tube down um, and then we want to close the loop like so so we've got that right to the end now uh, so the next thing to do is just seal that um, and we're going to do that with a little bit of CA so right at the closure there where the where the, uh, the tube end so we're sealing the tube end and we're sealing the two bits of uh, fishing line together if you blow on CA that just speeds up your uh, curing time uh, and that's essentially on so what we can do now is go in with our scissors and trim off the excess line down to where we super glued making sure we don't accidentally cut off the whole both of the lines and have to start again there we go that's really nice so that's our first rigging line in right with that um, done we can now thread the other end of the rigging line now what I usually do is I um, color these the, the line in with a sharpie once that's dry just to check that this is taut because as you go up and down it with your felt pen you're putting some tension on it um, but um, because I'm just showing you how we do it I can do that in later afterwards so we put the second tube on let that drop down and and thread it through our eye now I don't worry too much about eye direction some people do it's a personal preference I guess it looks um, better if they're all running in the same direction but it's hardly noticeable once it's rigged up right so we're then back to two lots of tweezers and again same rule as before hold your line as close to the end as you can so that it's steady and then I'm bringing up the tube to the line And like I say, this is the most difficult bit. It's the bit that sometimes can be time consuming. I'm sort of glad that it's not going in easily because there we go, we've got it. Uh, I wanted to show you that it can be a little bit tricky. Right. So we've got that threaded through now and what we want to do is to get the um, line as taut as possible so the short end the end we've just passed through is the end that we want to pull there we go then what you want to do is before you tighten it is just bring it taut There we go. I was pulling on the wrong end. So that's nice and taut now, as I want it. And then if you pull on the short end, you can see how we've now got that nice and taut and you can just take your tube up to the top there. Don't take it right the way up to the top because you want to just do a second tightening. Right, 
push it up to the top and then apply your uh, CA and there you go that is that rigging line on and then with a the pair of scissors we can go in and trim the excess off and then like I say you're just simply colouring in with a black sharpie um, and that's it that's all there is to uh, doing really nice looking aircraft rigging it's better than easy line it's less fiddly than easy line it's quicker than easy line and looks more authentic so there you go that is the rigging done um, I, I hope that was useful um, if you've not done rigging before it's nothing to be afraid of it's time consuming but it's also really satisfying when you've got it done it, it gives you a really nice authentic look to your model so thank you very much for uh, looking in you enjoy your modeling if you found that helpful you can always hit super thanks uh, and um, don't forget to hit the like button uh, and share with your mates bye for now <laughs>